Good morning, friends. Welcome in our economics lecture. I hope you all are well and fine, and I hope you all have completed your first assignment. Okay. So we have started our first chapter, and in that first chapter, we have completed introduction about economics. Word. Then after we have started economics definition in according to Indian. economist and economics definition according to western economist so this type of definition we have completed then after we have started this economic and non economic activities this one in this one we have completed means of the economic activity and means of non economic activity correct then after we have completed some examples also so these examples related to practical life and some example we have completed theoretical okay so i had given some questions also why how we will write difference between economic and non economic activity and how we will write difference between micro and macro economics this one next topic also we have completed what do you mean by the micro economics and what do you mean by the macro economics and the differences also we have completed clear yeah? and i had given questions mcqs and one more question i have completed this all mcqs also so i hope all topics and this all question answer you have got if you have any type of doubt any type of query you personally message so i can easily solve your doubt okay friends now today we will start our next topic our next topic name is presentation of information what do you mean by the data first we will discuss about this word what do you mean by the data data that means what actually data is numerical information data that means what numerical information information which is in numerical number or which is in numerical form that is known as data so for an example if i will say in 11th b 11th b class we have total 56 students okay 56 students i told that means what it is in numerical if i will say i have students in my class that is information but that is not data if i will explain numerical form then it will be considered as a data okay friends so now we will discuss about how we will explain how we will present this type of numerical information okay this type of numerical information we can present by three ways in our economics we have this three way first one is the descriptive manner what is first one is a descriptive manner okay second one is the ways by the way of data table by the way of data table third one is no is by the way of graph we have this three type of graph or we can say diagram okay so we have this total three way to presentation of our information which is in numerical form in economics we can present by this type of three way okay what is our first first one is the descriptive manner second one is by the way of the data table and third one is by the way of graph okay then after first topic we will discuss in detail how many present uh, how many way of the presentation of numerical data we have three form three type of the way to present our data clear students so these three ways are descriptive data table and graph or diagram clear now next next one is what do you mean by the descriptive manner actually this all are three note in detail but i will explain descriptive manner that means whenever any type of information which is in the explanation form okay which in sentences which in, in explanation form that is known as descriptive manner for an example if i will say price and demand both have inverse relationship if i will say like that that means what i said words i said sentence so it is descriptive manner 
demand price a uh, commodities price at a commodities demand both have inverse relationship that means what whenever prices will increase demand will demand will decrease of that same commodity we will discuss in detail the same type of topic in the third like third chapter but now just we are discussing it how we present our data okay first topic we are discussing in that also the sub topic is descriptive manner descriptive manner that means what whenever any type of information numerical information will explain by the way of descript by the way of the sentences in the sentence in the explanation if we are explaining then it will be in descriptive manner okay i said one example if i will say that price of a commodity if price of a commodity if we will show the relationship between price and demand of a commodity then that commodity's price and commodity's demand both have vice versa relationship vice versa that means what inverse relationship for an example a commodity's price will increase then that commodity's demands will be decrease okay if a commodity's price will be decrease that commodity's demand will be increase that means this both have inverse relationship if i said this sentence it is what it is descriptive manner correct second one is by the way of data table what do you mean by the way of the data table by the way of the data table that means same type of information if we are going to explain by the table okay the data will explain by the table that is known as by the way of the data tables data present okay here an example is here which i said in descriptive manner same example in the table wise okay here prices are given 20 15 10 and 5 okay if a commodity price is 20 rupees demand is what 20 units okay same commodity's price falls down from 20 to 15 then that commodity's demand will be increase 20 to 40 correct third one when a commodity's price will be 10 it has falls down again 20 to 15 and 15 to 10 that means that commodities demand will be rise up from 20 to 40 and 40 to 60 why because of prices increased okay sorry prices decreased due to that reason demand has increased clear last one example is if prices will be again fall down from 10 to 5 then same commodities demand will be increase from the 60 to 80 okay so this table also represent the same fact which i said in the descriptive manner same type of fact has present by in this table correct in this table also we are saying same thing what is same thing we are saying due to increase the price demand is due to increase the price demand is decrease and due to decrease the price demand will be increased that means when prices of a commodity falls its demand expand and vice versa okay so this type of explanation if we are explaining in sentence it is descriptive manner same type of explanation data we are explaining by the table it is the way of the presentation of data table correct last one we same type of thing we can explain same type of theory of demand we can explain by the diagram okay by the diagram also we can explain same thing in this according to this data table if we are going to draw the diagram we can draw like this only okay same type of data data are same if prices are 20 if price of a commodity is 20 that commodity's individual demand has 20 units here in this data table also same thing whenever commodities demand 20 here o y axis this one is o y axis o y axis it is o y axis so by this o y axis we are explaining here prices of a commodity in rupees 
Next one is what? Next one is O x axis. It is what? O x axis. And this O axis will show the commodities demand in units. Correct? It is O x axis. It is O y axis. So in the data table, you can open your textbook and match this data. If a commodities price has 20 rupees, demand has 20 units. So we can draw this line from here, from this one, from this line, if we will join this both, this line to this 20, this line to 20 only, if we will join this both, we can get from this line, I am saying about this one. Okay, if we will join this both 20 rupees to 20 units, then we can get this point, black point A. Okay, and it is what? It is our first point for the first type of price and demand relation. Okay, here I said that when price of a commodity has 20, then that commodity's demand has 20 units. This one we can explain by this diagram, okay? In this diagram we are explaining now. Now next one is the whenever commodities price is 15. Second one is what? 15. When a commodities price is 15, that commodities demand will be rise up, correct? When commodities demand decrease from 20 to 15, then commodities, same commodities demand will be increased from 20 to 40. And we got this point. Okay. Now next one. Whenever a commodities demand price again falls down from 15 to 10 rupees, then same commodities demand will be increased from 40 to 60 units, correct? And we will get this C point. Now last one. If a commodity's price again falls down from 10 to 10 to 5 rupees, then we can get this point. And in this point, prices are, prices is, a commodity's price is what? 5 rupees. And demand is 80 rupees. So we will get this point. Again, we will get this point. So this point, first one, A point we got, okay. Then second, B, third one, C, and last one is D. So these points we got because of the, it is what type of diagram? It is line diagram, okay. And this line diagram, A, B, C, D, these all points are showing which value, which he shows the relationship between price and demand okay so by this table also by this diagram by the explanation we can explain our all type of data related information correct so we can say that it is it shows the relationship between price and demand correct students so we can show the same type of price and demand by the descriptive manner second one by the data table and by the way of diagram and graph okay so this topic we have completed same type of thing has written here in words okay explanation of the diagram has given here okay so it shows what various economics parameter also cause and effect relationships these are showing cause and effect relationship and we express this way of the diagram, way of the table, and way of the descriptive manner. By this three way only, any type of data explanation presentation can be done. Okay. Now, next one is the importance of statical information. Importance of statical information. What is the importance of statical information? First of all, we will discuss it. What do you mean by the statical information? Statical information that means which is in numerical form, which is maybe in descriptive form and this type of information which has collected by the researchers, by the laboratories and by the 
एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट एंड बाय द एन एस एस ओ और सी एस ओ और गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट और मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ अवर गवर्नमेंट इफ दिस विल कलेक्ट एनी टाइप ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन लाइक वन टाइप ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन आई विल से एन एग्जाम्पल इफ अवर हाउ मच प्रोडक्शन हैज डन हाउ मच प्रोडक्शन ऑफ वीट हैज डन इन गुजरात ओके इफ आई विल आस्क क्वेश्चन हाउ मच प्रोडक्शन ऑफ वीट हैज डन इन गुजरात what will you do what will you do you will obviously you will collect information first of all you will collect information from our government departments okay agriculture department from that department you will get this information how agriculture department has got this information agriculture department will start a survey okay our government agriculture department will start a survey and by that survey government will collect information from the gujarat state and then after government will say that answer how much wheat production has done in gujarat correct so this type of information this type of statistical information just an example i said this type of observation this type of data collection work has done by the government departments by the laboratories and by the educational departments researchers and various students also doing same type of work if these are collecting information for the purpose of their analysis for the purpose of their own work their own information these are collecting this type of information and they analyze it how they analyze various type of the test also valid in our economics this various type of the test are actually not only in economics in state also this type of test use like t test chi test and various type of z test okay f test this type of various test use on that data which has collected by the various researchers or laboratories or government departments or ministry if they will collect this type of information this data will be analyzed by them for their purpose what for what purpose for which purpose they have collected data for that they will be analyze that okay and by this analyze they will get the relationship between for their analyze what they thought and what is the correct what is the correct information they will get it and then after they will prepare such type of theories which are related to different time different place i just explain an example which has led to gujarat same type of information we collect by the up haryana punjab and these all states okay and then after they will prepare a theory and that theory will be implement to all type of same situations okay for example in our this point first one so why it is important this type of statistical information our next topic is importance of statistical information why it is this type of statistical informations are essential this type of statistical informations are essential and importance because of first one point has given here statistical information support or confirm the principle because of statistical information support or confirm a principle so it is important okay various type of the philosophers economists collect the information and various type of test they will use and this type of test will analyze by the researchers and then they will prepare any type of theory okay according to time and place they will prepare a theory and this will be connected with the human person also okay so for example statistical data on rainfall and agriculture statistical data on rainfall and agriculture in the region at one time or at different times helps to understand it helps to understand the cause and effect relationship between rainfall and the agriculture okay for agricultural production with which 
economic theory has already established okay one example if rainfall will be how it it will it is related to this if rainfall is very uh, much rainfall in a particular state then that states in that particular season that states crops will be destroyed and damaged because of the high rainfall if rainfall is not there then drought will be there and then after in that state no any type of the crop can be cultivated by the agriculture farmers okay that means what it has connected it has related with the that means farmers activities agriculture cropping activities are depend on the rainfall if rainfall is good then agriculture productivities this crop production will be high if rainfall is less then crop and agriculture productivities productivity of crops will be less and may be damaged and this all will be situation create that means how they are saying that they are saying that because of they have collected information of the various reasons and then this analyzed and now then after they can say it. okay so this theory has prepared by them likewise data on price of a commodity and its demand can help to confirm the theory relationship established by economic between the two this economic theory also established by the economist it demand a commodity's price and a commodity's demand this both have inverse relationship this type of relationship and theory also prepared by the economists because they have collected data and they have analyzed after that they are saying so these both have inverse relationship how they can say because of they have collected this data they have proved that they have analyzed that only for that reason so importance of statistical tools are most important statistical data are most important because of statistical information support or confirm a principle if they will not collect data they will not analyze it and only they will generally say this both have inverse relationship no one will trust on that no one will believe on that so it and every theory of the economics can be confirmed and get support of with the with the statistical information so it's important next one it gives an idea about the changing trends changing trends of economic parameters what do i mean by the trends and parameters changing trends trends that means changing ideas change in the fashion change in the taste that is the trend okay and parameters parameter that means literacy poverty okay patience and this total population this all are what this all are economic parameter which can be measured by the economy that is economic parameter okay which with the help of economic data we can obtain an idea of the direction and magnitude of change in the economic parameter that means by the statistical information we can get direction and magnitude of change in the economic parameters okay so what is our first point our first point is statistical information support or confirm a principle second one is what second one is give an idea about the changing trends of the economic parameters what type of parameters are changing if uh, in a production we know that trend of the production is different sector of an economy okay and we can say that share of agriculture is falling in national income or supply of money is rising in the economy so this type of trend is changing now it present mostly peoples involved for the profession in the industrial service sector correct and in the total national income part of the agriculture is reducing year by year this type of explanation i will explain in detail in the chapter number 9 okay now we you just learn this and get it only agriculture's share of the agriculture is falling in the national income okay this we can see because of trend of the economic parameter trends and of economic parameter can be explained by the statistical information okay 
थर्ड वन मेक कंपेटिव स्टडी इजी मेक कंपेटिव स्टडी इजी इट कैन बी मेक कंपेटिव स्टडी इजी Why? Because of it can be explained various type of the data, various reason related data, and various time related data easily. Okay, in nineteen nine, nineteen fifty one and two thousand fifty one fifteen, what type of growth rate of the national income? How we can get? We can get this with the. We can compare it. Okay. we can compare growth rate of national income between 1951 and 2015 this comparison can easily done with the help of the statistical information statistical information that means what which is a numerical number okay data which is a numerical number and that we can get only by the statistics what type of national income has in 1951 1961 1971 1981 like that this they are related information we can get by the statistical statistical information and this one easily compare time wise or place wise okay next and last time wise and place wise explanation can be done with the help of the statistical information only for that reason it is important okay next and last one is to make precise presentation of the of facts precise that means which is attractive which is easy to understand okay this type of presentation only can be done with the help of the economic statics statistical information so it is important okay in this you can write all type of graph and diagrams can easily present their information all type of graph and diagram can easily present their information with the help of we can get okay now we will discuss next topic next day i hope you all have understood today we have completed it there's all type of explanation and all type of presentation of numerical information there's two answer we have compared today i hope you all have got next day we will discuss in detail next topic okay you have to revise and complete it okay friends thank you